I'm going to review this book, Preschool Math at Home, Simple Activities to Build the Best Possible Foundation for Your Child by Kate Snow. And I have to say, in short, I like this book. It benefited us. Kian, tell me, how much is this? Come here. How much is that? How much money do I have? One. One. Two. Two, okay. Kian, can you tell me how much I have now? Five, six. Wow, good job. Kian, how much do I have right now? Seven. Yeah. How many fingers do I have? Three. Two. Five. One. And uh, also another thing I want to mention, um, it says preschool math at home, and she suggests to start at the age of four, but I got this book when my son was three years old and a few months old. <laughs> And um, I said to myself, you know, I'm just going to look at the activities and if it's too hard for him or uh, difficult, you know, I'll just adapt it for his level, you know, but I never had a problem with that. You know, uh, these were really easy, simple activities and we took our time with it. You know, I, I didn't rush through anything. I did everything in order. I even did the optional activities that she listed, that she listed. And um, yeah, I mean, it's just... It's not that thick. I mean, it took us like 10 months to do it. So I got it in November last year. We finished it in September. And uh, not that thick. And the, the activities, you didn't have to spend any money. Um, there are things that you can get around the house. Um, I like the fact that, you know, you're not using paper. It's like all physical. It's like on the parents to like read up on the activities ahead of time and, you know, plan it out. And um, the kids learn from there. And I feel like my son has a solid foundation and uh, we're already starting on the next level, the kindergarten math. And I got Kate Snow's book on kindergarten math and it's already like super easy for him so far. So I'm very satisfied with it. And I think all parents should consider getting this book for their kid so they get a good foundation in math. You know, math is really important. Uh, it is a core subject in school. And you might be wondering like, why this book? Well, she has the Amazon reviews. She is an experienced public school teacher and she has kids of her own and she has a master's in education. She has a master's in math from Harvard University, just so happens to be. Um, she seemed very passionate this, about the subject. She wrote, a, uh, she has many books about math for her, like up until grade three. So that to me sounded like a very qualified person to write a book about activities for math. And uh, you might think that, oh, it's so easy and you shouldn't bother like too much with it and uh, the kids they learn like like it just it just helps the kids just identify numbers uh by like um five like my son can identify numbers uh, under five just by quickly looking at it like those are um the foundations that you need to advance to the next level uh he knows how to count money really easily like uh uh he knows uh, amounts under 10. He can figure that out quite easily. Um, what else? Um, you know, he, he can identify more, less than. Uh, I, I really try to add drama to the games. Like I did variations like to make them more fun. So um, I, I tried to make an application in the real world. Like we would use the dollar bills and go to farmer markets where he could buy like, I don't know, something like carrots. And you can see how that happens. That's very... Um, vivid experience so you don't forget you know so I did things like that like she didn't mention to do that folks we're at the farmers market and this is the perfect place to teach kids math yes math because this is a real life application to spend money at a farmers market they uh, charge evenly like so it's two dollars not two dollars and 25 cents 23 cents or whatever so uh, by uh, so uh, he has his wallet can you show your wallet and it has like uh, one dollar bills and then if something's like three dollars he'll he'll know like one mm -hmm. two three mm -hmm. and uh, this is his real life application to learn about uh, counting How about 
straightforward activities it's up to the parent it's on the parent to look up these activities plan them out and do it consistently I mean I didn't do it every single day but I did it like you know a few times a week um, uh, I would say oh look at these numbers and, this and that and one chapter I actually skipped about reading uh, the actual number because my son had this with a, like a telephone kind of toy where he like knew uh, the numbers by like reading them so we skip that. So overall, I'm very satisfied with this book. I will definitely do this, uh, go through this book with my daughter, who's one years old. When she turns three, we'll, we'll start with this book too. And, um, you know, don't, don't rush it. Be consistent. Um, you know, if it takes 10 months, one year, so be it. And then is ready for kindergarten. So I'm very satisfied with this book. And I think uh, this, is, this is the book to uh, go with, not paper and pencil. Uh, kids need to um, touch things. They need to see it um, in 3D. So I like that she did it that way and made it fun.